not a single one of their tombs that have ever been discovered. It's like it was just this, this whisper of history, right? Scientists have made a surprising discovery that could change how we view history. They believe they've found Genghis Khan's long lost tomb, hidden for centuries. Inside the tomb, there are mysterious and eerie elements that make us question our understanding of Genghis Khan and his family. Genghis Khan and his family are known for their significant impact on history. During his lifetime, they caused the deaths of a staggering 10% of Earth's population, altering the carbon footprint of humanity. This discovery promises a journey into the unknown, shaking up our understanding of the past. For ages, people have told stories and investigated the mystery of Genghis Khan's hidden tomb. Some tales suggest that Genghis Khan, the great leader who built a vast empire, wanted his tomb to remain concealed, and anyone who assisted in his burial was killed to safeguard its location. However, there's no concrete historical evidence to support this claim. Genghis Khan died in 1227, and historical accounts indicate that his burial place was zealously guarded by his followers. This secrecy was likely intended to prevent desecration or theft by enemies or rival factions. Such secrecy around the burial site of important leaders was common in Mongol culture, believed to protect the leader's resting place and spirit. Nonetheless, Genghis Khan had amassed many enemies during his brutal reign, and some of them harbored fantasies of revenge by disrespecting his final remains. Legends even suggest that rivers were diverted to conceal the tomb and horses were released to erase any traces of it. With a plethora of myths and stories, the tomb's location has remained an enduring historical mystery, fueling curiosity for generations. Historians and archeologists faced a challenging task in their quest to find Genghis Khan's tomb. They had to balance respecting local traditions with satisfying global curiosity. In Mongolia, Genghis Khan is not just a historical figure. He's a national hero and spiritual leader. Mongolians believe that disturbing his resting place would bring bad luck, making it culturally and literally off limits. This belief has deep roots in Mongolia, with many fearing potential calamities or curses associated with disturbing his burial site. As a result, actively seeking the tomb has been discouraged. It's not only a cultural matter, but also of historical significance. Genghis Khan's legacy is a source of immense pride for Mongolia, as his empire was one of the largest in history and played a pivotal role in shaping the nation's identity. The tomb symbolizes this historical significance, and many Mongolians prefer to leave it undisturbed to honor their heritage. This cultural and historical conflict has kept the tomb's location a secret and a taboo. Despite numerous attempts to find it using scientific knowledge and local stories, these efforts often ended in disappointment. Nevertheless, the allure of discovering the tomb never waned. In a YouTube video, we explore the extraordinary journey of discovery that has captivated the world. It's not just about the potential riches or priceless historical treasures. It's a profound human quest to unravel a mystery that has puzzled generations. Archaeologists have spared no effort, poring over ancient texts, meticulously analyzing satellite imagery, and even monitoring local wildlife for clues. Their unwavering dedication fuels their relentless pursuit of hidden truths. Amid this relentless quest, whispers of folklore emerge, like echoes from the distant past. These tales speak of a sacred mountain in remote northeastern Mongolia, believed to hold an enigmatic connection to Genghis Khan. Could this mystical peak, known as Birkin Kalun, guard the long-sought secret that has fascinated generations? Then, as if destined, a groundbreaking discovery emerged, challenging the audacity of attempting to solve this age-old enigma. Some saw it as bold, others as unholy, but in an era where technology has unlocked the secrets of the cosmos, humanity inevitably turned its gaze inward to explore the hidden recesses of our profound past. 
This long-anticipated moment has arrived, and the revelation it brought is nothing short of earth-shattering. We no longer need to rely solely on campfire stories or engage in speculative discussions about what might be inside Genghis Khan's tomb. We are on the verge of a significant shift in our understanding of history, ready to unveil truths hidden for centuries. Armed with concrete and indisputable evidence, we now stand at the forefront of history, challenging the myths and legends that have fascinated us for ages. The importance of this monumental discovery cannot be overstated. It opens a new chapter in learning, offering exciting opportunities to explore Mongolia's history, delve into archaeology's mysteries, and understand the complexities of anthropology. For Mongolia, this find is a cause for cultural celebration, making them proud. Yet, it also brings the challenge of being in the global spotlight, an opportunity to showcase their rich history and resilient people. For the world at large, this revelation adds an unsettling chapter to a timeless narrative that has fascinated generations. It peels away the comforting layers of folklore, compelling us to confront both exhilarating and disquieting realities. Just when it seemed that the world had resigned itself to the tantalizing mystery of Genghis Khan's legendary tomb, a team of dedicated archaeologists embarked on a journey beyond their original mission. Armed with scientific instruments and an unquenchable thirst for knowledge, they ventured deep into Mongolia. Initially focused on unraveling ancient climate patterns through soil sediment analysis, their expedition took an unexpected turn. It ignited international intrigue, sparked debates among scholars, and captured the global imagination. This unforeseen discovery serves as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of scientific exploration, where the pursuit of knowledge often leads us down unexpected paths. Their archaeological expedition unfolded in the remote and enigmatic region near Birkin Kalan Mountain, a place long shrouded in mystery and speculation, suggesting it might conceal the sacred and elusive final resting place of the Great Khan. Despite centuries of curiosity and strong belief, conclusive proof remained elusive, like a puzzle piece constantly escaping its proper place. As diligent archaeologists began their excavation, they stumbled upon something peculiar within the layers of soil, a strange and unexpected phenomenon in the natural world. With each layer they uncovered, it felt like embarking on an unusual journey. The pivotal moment came when inscriptions resembling ancient Mongol script were deciphered, strongly indicating that this was indeed Genghis Khan's burial place. As news of this revelation spread, the world watched with anticipation. This discovery had the potential to reshape historical investigation and challenge established narratives. Scientists and historians anxiously awaited the unveiling of the tomb's contents. However, this discovery brought its own complexities. Given the monumental importance of this finding to Mongolia's heritage, the Mongolian government needed to be involved at every stage. As the news media descended upon the site, ethical concerns emerged regarding the appropriateness of excavating a site so deeply intertwined with Mongolian culture and identity. While days turned into weeks, the painstaking work continued. Historians delved into ancient texts to seek additional evidence, and anthropologists provided insights into the profound cultural implications of the unfolding discovery. With a multidisciplinary approach, the sense of wonder within the team remained undiminished, recognizing they were part of something truly extraordinary, a venture rewriting segments of human history. As archaeologists and researchers prepared to unveil what was almost undoubtedly Genghis Khan's tomb, an air of anticipation and trepidation enveloped the site. The customary grandeur accompanying significant historical discoveries seemed conspicuously absent, replaced by an atmosphere filled with anticipation and apprehension. What lay hidden within the old stone walls was more than just a collection of relics from the past. They were mysterious items with an eerie power, capable of evoking fear and making us question what we knew about Genghis Khan and his era. Carefully opening the tomb's contents, the team was greeted by impressive swords adorned with valuable gems, 
scrolls with remarkably preserved writings, and exquisitely crafted armor from that time. These treasures represented a significant leap forward in our understanding of history. However, as investigators delved deeper into the tomb, they encountered items that not only defied our conventional understanding, but also raised questions about what might have been possible for people of that era to achieve. Amid the wealth of opulent artifacts, there were items that seemed entirely out of place within a 13th century burial site. These objects were crafted from materials that appeared far more advanced than expected for that era. They hinted at advanced metallurgical compositions, included seemingly anachronistic devices with mysterious functions, and even rudimentary mechanical contraptions. What sent shivers down their spines were the inscriptions and symbols found on some of these artifacts. These glyphs and scripts didn't correspond to any known language and displayed an uncanny precision, as if they had been created by machinery rather than human hands. This perplexing discovery raised more questions than answers, leading us into uncharted territory that demanded further exploration. Imagine these objects as enigmatic messengers, concealing their secrets from all who attempted to unravel their mysteries. They alluded to knowledge and entities previously undiscovered, adding layers of intrigue. The puzzle deepened when DNA samples from the tomb's remains revealed puzzling anomalies, markers unlike any known human lineage. History often mythologizes figures, but they are ultimately human. Science, however, unveiled something more intricate. Ritualistic items unrelated to recorded Mongol traditions, such as geometrically arranged ceremonial daggers, containers concealing unidentified organic compounds, and inscriptions hinting at celestial and cosmic realms. Did Genghis Khan belong to a lost belief system? In this ongoing story of discoveries, a haunting question lingered. Had the forces at play transcended our understanding of the world? Among the unsettling findings was an old map depicting unfamiliar landscapes adorned with unrecognizable symbols, alongside translucent stones with an otherworldly quality. These stones emitted a mystical glow and disrupted electronic devices, as if holding secrets from another reality. As speculation swirled around these artifacts, blurring the line between the terrestrial and extraterrestrial, we were forced to contemplate unfathomable possibilities. This discovery defied scientific categorization, prompting existential contemplation. It raised the question, what if Genghis Khan's role in history was part of a far more intricate narrative than imagined? Reactions to these artifacts ranged from skeptical disbelief to anxious conjecture, with some dismissing them as hoaxes and others seeing evidence of extraterrestrial contact. Within the realm of conspiracy theories, Genghis Khan was portrayed as everything from a time-traveling enigma to an otherworldly overlord. While the academic community largely rejected these notions, no definitive explanations emerged to quell the burgeoning mysteries. The enigma deepened further when the scientific data obtained from the meticulous analysis of the tomb's contents began challenging the fundamental principles of archaeology, genetics, and physics. DNA analysis and carbon dating, typically reliable tools in studying historical artifacts, now raised more questions than they answered. The DNA extracted from the skeletal remains, initially presumed to confirm Genghis Khan's identity, defied categorization. It appeared as a fusion of genetic sequences that didn't align with any known ethnic group, rendering traditional classification obsolete. Hints of genetic material so enigmatic that it seemed to belong to an entirely undiscovered species also emerged, breaking the boundaries of comprehension. The implications of these findings were profound. Could Genghis Khan have possessed a previously undiscovered genetic mutation that had escaped scientific records' attention? Or did the truth lie in the realm of the inexplicable? Then came the revelation of the carbon dating results. According to conventional expectations, the age of the artifacts and remains should have neatly aligned it with the 13th century, the time of Genghis Khan's reign. How, however, these dating tests yielded wildly inconsistent results. Some items appeared far older than expected, 
suggesting civilizations predating not just the Mongolian Empire, but potentially the entirety of known human civilization. Others displayed signs of an age that defied logic, given their remarkably pristine condition. It was as if the fabric of time had folded within the tomb's walls, leaving behind an enigmatic tapestry that challenged our most dependable measures of temporal reality. The story didn't end there. The journey into the heart of these mysteries continued to unfold. Nevertheless, the results of the dating tests presented a remarkable enigma, one that was inconsistent and perplexing. They shattered our expectations. Some of the unearthed artifacts seemed to carry the weight of ages, suggesting the existence of civilizations predating not only the Mongol Empire, but potentially all of recorded human history. On the other hand, some items exhibited an impossible antiquity, given their perfect state of preservation within the tomb. It was as if time itself had become flexible, contorting in ways that defied our most dependable measures of temporal reality. Yet, these anomalies were only the beginning of the enigma. Material science experts encountered a puzzle that transcended the boundaries of DNA analysis and carbon dating. Certain artifacts appeared to be crafted from alloys that demanded a level of metallurgical mastery far beyond the scope of the 13th century or even, perplexingly, the technological capabilities of modern times. These extraordinary materials displayed baffling properties, including exceptional strength and an enigmatic conductivity that defied rational comprehension. A perplexing realization settled upon even the most seasoned researchers. Before them lay technologies and materials seemingly at odds with the very laws of physics as we currently understood them. With each subsequent scientific examination, the contents within the tomb challenged our modern sense of certainty, as if playfully questioning our deep trust in the empirical methods that form the foundation of our contemporary knowledge. It was as if an elusive force dared us to broaden our perspectives, encouraging us to scrutinize the established scientific norms that had reliably guided us until this remarkable juncture. As diverse teams of experts from various disciplines came together to analyze these mind-boggling discoveries, an atmosphere of urgency mixed with profound existential doubt prevailed. Physicists, chemists, biologists, and historians, all masters in their respective fields, now found themselves in the role of novices. They were brought together by their shared state of bewilderment and the urgent need to decipher the perplexing enigmas before them. Confronted with a puzzle that eluded their collective expertise, theories emerged, underwent intense debates, and were promptly dismissed. Nothing seemed to align perfectly. Could the realm of quantum physics provide a suitable explanation? Or were we glimpsing hints of an undiscovered law of nature? Was this a moment that called for a scientific revolution akin to the transformative leaps seen in the times of Einstein or Galileo? Before this astonishing revelation, the predominant narrative of Genghis Khan portrayed him as a military genius who united Mongolia's nomadic tribes, forging one of history's greatest empires. However, the peculiar artifacts and enigmatic DNA sequences now hinted at a far more complex narrative. Could his military triumphs and strategic brilliance be linked to unknown, perhaps even extraterrestrial influences? Such possibilities clashed with ingrained beliefs, prompting society to reconsider its foundational myths. Among Mongolians globally, religious circles felt the reverberations, as shamanistic practices entwined with Tibetan Buddhism played a vital role in Mongolian spiritual life. Genghis Khan's connection to spiritual beliefs ran deep, with some viewing him as a deity-like figure ordained by the heavens. However, the perplexing artifacts and inconclusive DNA evidence cast a shadow over these spiritual convictions, sparking introspection and debate among religious leaders. While some saw the findings as affirming Genghis Khan's divine nature, others deemed them sacrilegious. The political implications were equally profound in modern-day Mongolia. Genghis Khan symbolized national unity and pride, gracing currency, government buildings, 
and landscapes. These revelations from his tomb had the potential to either enhance his legendary status or fuel contentious debates. Mongolian political leaders found themselves navigating a delicate path, acknowledging the significance of scientific findings while preserving national unity. This groundbreaking discovery also reignited global interest in Mongolia, a nation often overlooked. Global powers grappled with the implications of the tomb's artifacts and scientific mysteries. Negotiations regarding the analysis and custody of the tomb's contents evoked historical sensitivities related to colonialism and exploitation. The impact on the younger generation, for whom Genghis Khan was once relegated to history books and national holidays, was profound. They turned to social media, generating viral memes, impassioned blogs, and protest movements. They became a driving force in shaping public discourse and contributing to a global conversation. Their engagement with the Genghis Khan saga showcased the transformative power of technology and social connectivity in the modern era. They bridged the ancient and contemporary, ushering in a new chapter in Genghis Khan's legacy. For the younger generation, the tomb symbolized not just history, but identity. Genghis Khan's tomb discovery triggered cultural, scientific, and geopolitical shifts. Superpowers adjusted strategies, while Mongolia gained global attention. Relationships with China and Russia grew complex. Western powers joined in, balancing scientific inquiry and heritage preservation. The United Nations and UNESCO added complexity, raising questions about the tomb's status. Cultural appropriation, historical accuracy, and sovereignty became hotly debated. This discovery transformed global consciousness, challenging beliefs. Like the 1969 moon landing, it united people around an enigmatic riddle, altering science, history, and culture. The ethical dilemmas were intricate, closely tied to scientific exploration, creating a complex fabric of contentious issues. It wasn't just an intellectual exercise, it ignited fervent discussions, blending ethics, ownership, and the pursuit of knowledge into a volatile mix. At the heart of the debate were ethical considerations regarding the DNA analysis of Genghis Khan's remains. It posed a seemingly straightforward yet profoundly intricate question. Who rightfully owns the genetic code of historical figures? This query stirred up a storm of ethical complexities, sparking debates, spanning morality, heritage, and the unrelenting quest for knowledge. Within the scientific community, there was an ardent desire to unlock the secrets hidden within those enigmatic DNA sequences. Advocates believed that the potential knowledge gained could benefit all of humanity. In contrast, an opposing viewpoint emerged, particularly within Mongolia, viewing this pursuit as an infringement upon national and individual heritage. Descendants of Mongolian tribes vehemently opposed sharing Genghis Khan's genetic material with the global population. This controversy extended into the realm of archaeological ethics. The startling nature of the artifacts, the bewildering composition of materials, and the seemingly age-defying condition of the items found within the tomb prompted questions about the scientific rigor of the entire discovery. Critics, both within the academic community and the broader public discourse, raised doubts about the authenticity of the findings, wondering if scientists might have taken shortcuts under intense international scrutiny. Concerns also arose regarding cultural exploitation. The array of astonishing artifacts possessing monetary value raised apprehension that they might become commodities on the international market. Art historians and anthropologists cautioned against the objectification of sacred cultural relics. These concerns broadened the scope of the debate, accentuating the multifaceted nature of the challenges surrounding the tomb's revelations. The religious and spiritual debates surrounding this extraordinary discovery transcended mere academic discourse, igniting age-old discussions on the demarcation between science and spirituality materialism versus metaphysics, and the intrinsic nature of the artifacts.
questions about Genghis Khan's DNA seem to elude both logical and scientific explanation, providing rich contemplation for spiritual leaders and religious organizations. It raised the profound question of whether this was a realm where science had to humbly acknowledge the inherent limits of human understanding. These debates spanned a spectrum from ethical considerations about the genetic heritage of historical figures to complex discussions about archaeological practices. They encompassed contentious dialogues on cultural appropriation, legal dilemmas regarding intellectual property, and profound moral considerations delving into the heart of human ethics. What began as a groundbreaking discovery had evolved into a multifaceted narrative where the crucible of ethical and scientific rigor was relentlessly tested, leaving no aspect of human understanding untouched. In many ways, the debates and controversies that followed were as illuminating as the discovery itself. Thanks for watching this episode of Space Zone. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.